Group 1 of ENVI, 101 proudly presents Renewable Energy, Wind and Solar Energy Before we begin, here are the learning objectives of this video presentation. Objective number 1. To know the importance of renewable energy. Objective number 2. To know what is renewable energy and its examples. Objective number 3. To know what is solar and wind energy. And objective number 4. To know how solar panel and wind turbine work. Why do we need to switch to or use renewable energy? Here are some reasons. First reason, fossil fuels are running out. Most of our day-to-day -day activities requires the use of fossil fuels. It is an uncomfortable fact that the human race is addicted to the use of fossil fuels. At some point, fossil fuels are going to be either gone or very expensive. Second reason, combustion of fossil fuels result to global warming. When fossil fuels are burned they discharge carbon dioxide into the atmosphere which contributes to global warming. Using fossil fuels to generate energy also releases pollutants into the atmosphere such as sulfur dioxide. Third reason, renewable energy is environment friendly. Using alternative energy reduces the amount of digging, drilling, and mining we do to extract fossil fuels within the earth, thereby reducing stress on the planet. Fourth reason, renewable energy gives us energy security. The use of renewable energy makes us less dependent on fossil fuel. Last reason, renewable energy can save money. Although the purchase of renewable energy sources requires initial investment, these types of systems usually pay for themselves over time, given that their primary energy source, that is sun or wind, is essentially free. What is renewable energy? According to Penn State College of Agricultural Sciences, renewable energy is energy generated from natural resources, such as sunlight, wind, rain, tides and geothermal heat, which are renewable, naturally replenished. Renewable energy technologies range from solar power, wind power, hydroelectricity, microhydro, biomass and biofuels for transportation. Here are the forms of renewable energy. First, solar, second, wind, third, hydroelectricity, fourth, biomass, fifth, hydrogen and fuel cells, and lastly, geothermal power. Among the different sources of renewable energy, two of the most abundant are sunlight and wind. Many researchers find great possibilities with the utilization of these two sources of energy, thus innovations are rapidly coming. In solar energy, it is simply an energy provided by the sun. This energy is in the form of solar radiation, which makes the production of solar electricity possible. Solar energy is converted into electricity with the help of photovoltaic cells. In wind energy, it is a renewable source of energy which is harnessed with the help of wind turbines. Turbines operate with the same principle of electric generators. How does solar panel work? Photons bombard and penetrate the cell. They activate electrons, knocking them loose in both silicon layers. Some electrons in the bottom layer slingshot to the top of the cell. These electrons flow into metal contacts as electricity, moving into a circuit throughout a 60-cell module. Electrons flow back into the cell via a solid contact layer at the bottom, creating a closed loop or circuit. How Wind Turbine Work When the blades start moving, they spin a shaft that leads to a generator. The generator consists of a conductor, such as a coiled wire, that is surrounded by magnets. The rotating shaft turns the magnets around the conductor and generates an electrical current. Lastly, sensors cause the top of the turbine to rotate to face into the wind and the blades change their angle to best catch the wind. The blades are flexible and stop spinning if wind is too strong. That concludes the video presentation presented by Group 1. 
And as always thanks for watching.